sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? So I actually pre-ordered Black Ops 4 when it came out, or about a month before it came out, got it on release, and at first it was pretty good. I'll admit that we didn't get some of the features that they had promised, and to be honest, they're still not implemented in the game to this day, but the state of the game today is way better than it was at launch. So, I had decided to stop playing about January 2019, because the game was not quite doing it for me anymore. It was still zombies, just like any of the other games, like Black Ops 3 was zombies, and that never really got old for me, and we were basically dealing with the same formula that never seemed to miss, in my opinion. I know some people say it's hit or miss, and it was always a hit for me, but this year it just wasn't. The launch was stable. There were four maps on release, albeit one you had to pre-order the deluxe edition to get. So vanilla players would get three maps on launch, and to be honest, it was a fairly decent amount of content. Like, they didn't have campaign... But in its place, they did have all the zombie content. And it did take some time for the Easter eggs to be found, and I know that that leak really screwed things up for the community. But I don't think that that content was enough content, and I honestly don't know how to explain it. It was either the same amount of content, or maybe even more than we got in Black Ops 3 at launch, yet... For some reason, it just didn't feel the same. It didn't feel worthy. The gun customization was on point, obviously, because more customization and options to the player can only be a good thing. But the elixirs, man, the elixirs sort of killed it for me. The gobble gum system in Black Ops 3 was pretty good because it was just so consumer-friendly in my eyes. But in Black Ops 4, they made it so that we basically got the same kind of gobblegums, but turned into elixirs in Black Ops 4. So, like, they had the same effects, but we only got one use out of them, or a limited amount of time compared to what we got in Black Ops 3. And a big example of, like, them fucking us over is Alchemical Antithesis. That was a free gobblegum in Black Ops 3, and now it's a... Uh, paid gobble gum and well oh, not even gobble gum it's a paid elixir in black ops 4 and i know it's common so like it's a common drop so your chances of getting it is more likely than all the other paid drops but still it sucks that it's not one that you get out the box and as for talismans i honestly never really focused too much on them and i honestly never even bought the elixir drops that come with a guaranteed talisman i always go for the ones that guarantee the most elixirs as possible for the amount of credit spent if that makes sense to you like i see the purpose of the talismans as they last the whole and like the whole match but at the same time i don't see the benefit of having them if they're gonna disappear anyways and honestly that could be said for all of the consumables but I just see the elixirs as being more viable as you can use them on the fly and if you don't use them throughout the match then they won't be taken from you. And the talismans, well, honestly they activate at the start of the match so if you fuck up and die at the beginning then the talisman's gone forever. So as time went on I just kept playing the game over and over again and I honestly got burnt out after two months because... I managed to get to 7th Prestige by the time that I stopped playing, and honestly, I was so burnt out on all the content that we had in the game that it just felt like we weren't going to get anything, even though I knew that if I just waited a few more weeks, we were probably going to get something. But I was just too impatient and heartbroken that all the promises that weren't kept were just not made or broken, whatever you want to say. Just... I was heartbroken at the betrayal 
that Treyarch had committed. And this heartbreak led me to delete the game and install Black Ops 3. I played that for about a month, but it ended up not catching my attention anymore because I honestly wasn't vibing with it anymore. Like, I just didn't want to try as much as I was trying in Black Ops 3, so I jumped back into Infinite Warfare. And in Infinite Warfare, I had done the Super Easter Egg, so basically I started off with 25k every match, and it was basically a cakewalk every match that I played, so I stuck with that for about two months. And flash forward to now, I decided to jump back into Black Ops 4. I don't know why I did, I just felt called to, and I have to admit that I'm not disappointed. And it's funny because I've actually expressed my optimism about the game, and I'm getting a lot of flack for it on Reddit and shit like that. So I just wanted to make a video explaining my perception of it. So basically, I had a six-month hiatus from this game, and in the process of me taking that break, they ended up releasing Classified as a purchasable map. It's eight bucks, so I ended up buying that. They added a bunch of gobble gums that you don't even need to have the map packs for. Like Black Ops 3, I believe you had to purchase the map packs in order to use the gobble gums. Because I had some friends that didn't have the map packs and they did not have access to the gobble gums that I had access to. So those were two very welcome changes. And within Zombies, they actually added the new weapons um, that they added in the multiplayer. So. It's like Infinite Warfare. The weapons are in multiplayer and zombies. But unlike Infinite Warfare, if you earn the gun in zombies, then it doesn't stick with your account like Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare, if you get the weapon in the mystery box, then it's yours to keep throughout the entire game. That means multiplayer and zombies. It's yours to use. So while you may not have been able to customize these weapons... At least they're free, you know? And there are actually some new weapons that you can customize. I believe that they're community weapons. I'm honestly not sure. All I know is that some of the weapons that are new I have unlocked, and some of the weapons that are new I don't have unlocked to customize. So I just wanted to throw that out there. All in all, the game just doesn't feel as much of a schlock as it used to, like back in the day. Like when I first started, it felt so slow, but now... It feels decently paced even without the use of elixirs because honestly black ops 3 i would spam elixirs out the, or i would spam gobble gums out the ass because i had so much but in this game the gobble gums are fuck the elixirs just don't seem as viable an option as in black ops 3 so i tend to stick for the free or stick to the free elixirs and to be honest some of the free elixirs are pretty good so, I honestly have hope for the future of Black Ops 4. I don't have fu uh, I don't have hope for the future of COD in general. But at least for Black Ops 4, I hope that they can at least get their promises out to us. Because if this is going to be the last COD game that I play, I want it to at least be what I expected it to be at my purchase, you know? It's just not right. And I see that they're trying now, but it's a bit too late and the community honestly isn't happy with them and I honestly wasn't happy with them at the launch of this game but as I've let time heal the wounds have surely gone away their scars still remain but I no longer feel any pain from it so that's just my story with Black Ops 4 and just wanted to get it out there. I know it's it could be considered a pretty bad game. And I will give people that. Everyone's opinion is their own. But in my opinion, I believe it has a chance.